welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I actually shopped at two stores, I have new food finds, I have a really great big haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I lost 90 pounds in 2022 and I'm just about 140 pounds lost total. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We would love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So the first part of my grocery haul is from Trader Joe's. I made a quick run there on Tuesday when Lola was at chemo. So let me show you what I picked up. First thing are these beautiful flowers. I love to buy flowers from Trader Joe's, especially these mums. They will last weeks and weeks and they're $3.99, which is an incredible deal. And then of course I bought my favorite little puffs, the Cascio de Pepe, which is like a pepper type of cheese puff. I love them. I only got one bag this time though trying to control myself a little bit, but I really, truly love these. And then of course I got my favorite crackers. I'm not quite out of the other box, but I don't wanna run out. I love these and actually a lot of you have reached out and said that you bought these and love them as much as I do. They're so buttery and they have seeds in them. They're just really, truly the best cracker. And then I always buy cheese there. So I have the light shredded Mexican blend and light mozzarella. Actually last time they were out of the mozzarella. So I was glad that it was back in stock. This was a new thing that they just got. These are the Belgian cookie assortment. So it said lemon flavored waffle cookies and almond butter thins with strawberry flavored bits. So you can actually have six cookies for 160 calories. So I thought I would just have one of these with some protein pudding or maybe some ice cream from my Ninja Creamy. So I wanted to try those. I thought that was really cool that you got three different kinds of Belgian cookies and they are limited edition if you're interested. And then I picked up a couple of cards. I have a Mother's Day card for my mother-in-law and then a Mother's Day card for my mom. I love the chicken meatballs at Trader Joe's. These are so good. I'm just gonna toss them in my freezer and I figure they'll be a really easy source of protein while I'm recovering from surgery. I grabbed some banana chips for Troy just so he had something that he could snack on in the evening. And then of course, lots of dog treats. So I did the chicken jerky sticks and then the chicken and brown rice sticks. My dogs actually like both of those a lot. And then I haven't bought this one in a while because it's grain free and I usually don't buy grain free treats, but these are the peanut butter and banana. They had nice clean ingredients and then they love the better than leftovers, which is inspired by your dinner table. So there's roast beef, gravy, cheese, sweet potato, and apple pie treats. They really like those. They're nice and soft, and you can see that they're a little bit smaller. They're perfect, especially for Palmer. No surprise, I also grabbed some mango, my very, very favorite thing. I count these as zero points. They have the same macros as fresh mango. I always say that because I do get questions. I don't count dried fruit unless there's added sugar or the nutrition information is different than the fresh fruit. So I still count these as zero. And then I got some shelled edamame. It's already seasoned and everything, such a great source of protein. So I thought this would make a really, really easy side. And then I couldn't pass up these cute little tomatoes. These are sprinkles, teeny tiny tomatoes. I mean, these are the cutest things ever. I just thought that that would be a fun little snack as well. So that is everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. All right, let's go do it. Let's go. So here's the rest of my grocery haul from Fry's, which is our local Kroger store. I had quite a big haul this week. What you don't see is a case of Diet Coke for Troy. And then I did get him some Gatorade Zero, but I pulled one out for myself because I want to try this new flavor. So let me show you what I picked up from Fry's. First thing is two cottage cheese. I am completely out of cottage cheese and I kind of start to panic because I live on cottage cheese. So I grabbed 
two more containers of my favorite good culture. I did pick up some more paper plates just because I had a coupon. I had quite a few coupons that I was trying to use up before they expire. In fact, I did have one for good culture as well. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. That way he has milk for his cereal. Grab a pound of ground beef. This is the Simple Truth Organic 90%. I also had a coupon for this and it was, I think, $2 off. So it ended up making this pretty affordable for organic ground beef. I did grab a couple more packs of the Idahoan instant mashed potatoes. We buy the shredded chicken at Sprouts a lot, as you know, and we love making little KFC bowls at home. So I did the roasted garlic and parm and the cheddar and sour cream. And then I did get some pasta as well because I have a pasta recipe coming this next week. So stay tuned after the haul for what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. And then I did grab Troy some potato salad out of the deli. I always pick this up when it is reduced in price. And then, like I said, I got him some great Gatorade Zero and this was a flavor that was new to me. I have never seen this before. This is cucumber lime. So I pulled one out, I'm gonna throw it in the fridge and I am going to try this out. We'll, we'll see how it is, it sounds really good. And then I grabbed some tortilla chips because I really have been craving guacamole. So I'm going to do some homemade guacamole salsa chips as a little snack. And then I did grab a couple cans of beans. I actually need cannellini beans for a recipe. And then I had a coupon that was a discount off of two cans. So I just picked up a can of pinto beans. Some feta cheese. This is for a recipe this next week. Feta cheese is really expensive, by the way. I think this was $6, which is absolutely crazy. And then I had a coupon for a free cream cheese. So I grabbed the one third less fat. I could always use this. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna throw it in my freezer just to keep it a little bit longer. Two boxes of Troy cereal, the Kashi Toasted Berry Crisp. I also had a coupon for, I think $2 off, $1.50 off of two boxes, so I went ahead and grabbed two. And then I got these for him as well. We were looking in the bulk bin at Sprouts for some granola that didn't have almonds in them, and I saw these. These are from the Bare Naked brand. These are peanut butter and honey little granola bites. And I thought that that would be a good snack for him. So I picked those up so that he could try them out. I grabbed some more of my favorite cheese, the Ultra Thin from Sargento. I go between this and the Reduced Fat Pepper Jack, which they didn't have. So this time I grabbed the Colby Jack. And then I did some Parmesan as well, just because it was a little bit cheaper in the bag than in the little plastic container. And then my favorite is the Himalayan Pink. So I picked up a bag for me. And just so you know, if you do have a Kroger store near you, there's a dollar off digital coupon. So that makes each one of these bags only 250, which is a really good deal. And then quite a bit of produce. I needed some grape tomatoes for a recipe. Parsnips, which I don't know that I've ever had them. I think I have maybe once. I don't remember, but one of my recipes called for parsnips. I grabbed three avocados to make homemade guacamole, a big, huge sweet potato for a recipe, three bell peppers also for a recipe, and then last but not least, a couple packs of the big jumbo blueberries. I also had a coupon for berries, so I picked up two packs for fruit for the week. So that's everything that I picked up from fries. Let's go ahead and go into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. And here's what's on my menu for the week. So today's Saturday is out to dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, I always do leftovers. On Monday, I'm making Tuscan white bean pasta. I'm actually really excited for this. You guys will see it in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm making the turkey sliders that I didn't make last week. Thursday, we're doing Cobb salads. And then Friday, I always do leftovers as well. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. We are doing a protein-packed, healthy meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm doing a root vegetable frittata. For lunch, I am making cashew chicken quinoa bake. And then we're gonna do protein brownies. And these supposedly are the best protein brownies, so I'm pretty darn excited for that. So stay tuned for all three recipes on Monday. Thank you for joining me on another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Trader Joe's and from Kroger, which is my local fry store. It was another big haul, so if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a grocery haul every Saturday, and I do upload five videos every week. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. Happy Saturday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.